Uh, this is just a little short video, uh, 2005 F-150. Uh, they, uh, one of the guides that broke in it, so I'm putting chains and tensioners and all the good stuff in there. I didn't have any special tools, so I had to figure out a way to tighten up these cam phasers. Um, as you can see, I've already got the new cam phaser in place. Um, of course, passenger side head, you'll have an R up at, uh, at uh, the top. On the left side, driver side, you'll have an L. It won't be 12 o'clock, but you'll see when you get it apart. Um, real quick, though, uh, use an old chain. Went ahead and put the new gear on it. Um, this, what you have to do is lock the cam gear in place so it won't turn when you tighten it up. What I did, put the chain on, slid my vice grips as far forward as I could. Uh, the torque on these, these are a Dorman uh, product, is uh, two stages, three stages actually. You got a finger, you know, get the bolt finger tight, then with your torque wrench, torque it to 30 foot pounds. All right, got that. And then the third step, an additional 90 degrees. I've got a snap-on torque angle wrench that allows me to uh, dial in the degrees. So go ahead and do my 90. And it does keep track whenever you have to uh, start over again right now now we're only at 64 degrees got a little bit more to go Seventy two. Eighty four, almost there. Just take your time. All right, ninety degrees. Uh, another way you can do that is to uh, take a paint marker. Put a mark at 12 o'clock and turn it till you get to 3 o'clock to get your 90 degrees. And uh, do the same thing for the other side. You know, put the bolt in finger tight, put an old chain on, put your vice grips on, uh, 30 foot pounds, and then additional 90. No special tools needed. Um, I mean, just uh, most stuff is on the internet where you can find the instructions for it. So that's it, man. Appreciate y'all.